You want to talk? I'm going to shut up. It's not make a big thing. That movie theater in Idaho, that was a sound stage. Those mountains, they had those in force too. I know because I was there. Your saves were never real. None of them? You never actually saved anyone. Your uncle is no hero. And I don't want you anywhere near him. Nathan, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, maybe it's a bad timing, you know, to intervene. Yes. Sister Sage? I'm a professional manager. Bullshit. She does. God damn, is he here? Of course not. Though there's a chance you can meet him. First, I want to see your powers, so. What can she do? Um. Strong too, though. Look, what's important is what are you selling? I'm not here to share the truth. You're nothing but purpose. These people have nothing. Maybe they lost a job or a house or a kid to Oxy. No one ran together telling the story. No purpose. How much would you rather believe that you belong to a community of warriors battling a secret evil or that you're a lonely, inconsequential nobody that no one will ever remember? Not saying that it's actually what is happening into our world. Oh, that bullshit you pull in a mess you always leave behind for me to clean up. You know why I kept coming back? Because I thought maybe this time it'll be a little different. I thought maybe this time, maybe you and I could just, just be fucking brothers again. Just go home. Oh, you're back right there. Hey, hey. If you must have perhaps I can endure so others don't suffer. That's the sweetest thing that you could say to her right now to come up. Crunch. It took you a long enough to get her from training. Right. What is this? Security cam footage of your two starlighters. About a mile from the bodies of time with that. Uh! Why are you giving this to us? You could have gotten my face in front of my family, but you didn't. Let's call it a thank you. Thank you, Wayne. I would have blasted the shit out of you, and you would have deserved it. Oh really? You can't have him taking the light, Ryan? Each 
one of you can create another one or only the original one? Uh, ah! Kimiko, Kimiko, Kimiko. Storm has arrived. Splinter and I are being attacked by CIA agents on Colorado. Bitch is dead, bitch is dead. <laughs> Giving up on me or not? Not. She's not dead? Oh no! Once and if he's gonna die, they're all gonna die. She's alive, that bitch. That's what you're upset about. You wouldn't say it's right. Can't save them all. It is not her job. Koi died doing what she loves. No, I'm never doing that again. Jesus, how many times do I have to tell you? You know, taking our responsibilities, you're doing the same. Okay, she doesn't need therapy, she needs revenge. But that's awful because right now you're so sincere and you're begging for help. Too 
It's a beginning. It's a beginning of the redemption of the butcher. No, no, no. I'm not gonna get mad and I'm not gonna be desperate right now. It's just the beginning. Like, if truly for this season you want for Butcher to take the right decisions and to have that redemption arc, like it seems to be the case, after all of these seasons in which, for sure I loved him, but to be clear, I was a little disappointed with some of his decisions, clearly with his choice at the end of the first episode, you made the viewers think that he's not gonna make the same bad decisions, and right there at the end of this episode too, you're explaining why it's because of the fact that he knows that he doesn't have a lot of time left to to live and to do what is right to save Ryan and that he truly regrets all of what he did and he's considering that he only took bad decisions before and he's sorry for all of the mistakes you know that he did so it's really like yes the beginning of a redemption arc Butcher who understood the situation all of what he did which was wrong, who regrets it sincerely, who is asking for help right there, who is begging for help right there. I'm not blaming the other ones, you know, to not accept him back just like that, to not believe into him just like that. Like, for sure, it's gonna take more than just a little speech like that at the end, because for them, Butcher. I mean, they know him since so long and they, they had to leave, you know, everything that he did. So clearly, I can't blame his friends for right now, for now, not giving him a second chance. You know me, I believe in second chance, really. If you were punished for what you did, if you truly, sincerely want to change and if you're showing that you want to change by actions and stuff like that. And for me, Butcher truly regrets and truly wants to change. I think that he was punished, yes, because of the fact that he's gonna die soon, you know, all of that. And with all of the situation, with Raya, with his mother and all, I think that he was punished enough. And he's beginning to show things, you know, about the fact that he wants to change, like right there. You can say it like that, the fact that he didn't give up on them and he truly wanted to help. But at the same time, he didn't listen to their instructions. But at the same time, he was okay to sacrifice himself. He told them all to run away. It's not a surprise that it's not happening right there, you know, open arms, uh, come back. Oh, we're so glad to have you back and the new version of you. I'm not even sure that this version of him is gonna stay, you know, like that, that this beginning of a redemption arc is gonna stay. But that's the beginning, so I'm glad. Okay, okay for that. I'm glad also that I was right for Starlight. I didn't think that it would happen so fast. I thought that it would be really a personal evolution for the season. The fact that at some point she would understand that she needs to, to go back as Starlight because people, they need to have a superhero on their side to have that symbol of up and all. And also for all of the forces to be a little more balanced, you know. The fact that she already said, you know, and went as Starlight like that, maybe it's gonna take still a little more time for her to, to accept that she is a true superhero right now, but it doesn't mean that she is one of both superheroes. She can be her own version of a superhero and maybe she can build something new around that. But clearly, yes, uh, it happened that already. For Frenchie, I thought that the love triangle with Colin and Kimiko would be his main thing, you know, for the season. It's not gonna be the case. Kimiko, she's gonna confront her past really more than what it was before. And him, because of Colin, because of the fact that he killed, he was there, you know, to kill his family is gonna be confronted also to the mistakes that he did into the past. Like for these two, it's gonna be about being confronted with their past. Butcher, I think that he's gonna go with Negan. You know, he's gonna find a new group to help him, to fight with him. We just saw him five minutes during the first episode, Negan, so I'm not so sure we can trust him that much, we'll see. <gasps> Sage! That plan, you know, that was a good one. She managed to, 
to trap our guys. She's clearly clever. This person that she recruited Yoto uh, being like that's a test for you if you can be a superhero. The guy who could replicate himself, like really, that scene with him masturbating himself in front of the picture, you know, of, I can't remember her name, the red-haired girl, and with all of them, you know, masturbating themselves with that, that was awful! That was truly really awful! Like really, I had trouble to just jump on the other scene after that, I was like, ah! I have that picture now into my mind, that's awful. And for sure, I was asking myself the questions about is he replicating himself? Are they brothers? You know, what is truly the power going on right there? After that, we had the answer. He was replicating himself and only one Prime could do it. And if you're killing Prime, you're killing everyone. It helped with the end of this fight. Red Hair Girl is still alive, that's really bad. She filmed also what happened, so she filmed Frenchie, Butcher, all of their faces, that's really bad. And all of her propaganda, you know, uh, her conspiracyist theories and all, they're awful. And she said it, it's just lies to give people purposes. Lonely people who feel like they are useless to the world, you are giving them an hidden enemy to fight against, uh, you can create all of the stories that you want around that. They're gonna believe into it just because they are so bored into their lives that they are okay to believe into it. It can be applied to so many things into our societies right now. Like really people who are believing in conspiracies. I think that also the fact that they are bored into their lives, the fact that they are really isolated people also and you're telling them fairy tales and they are believing into them because that's the only thing that they can have into their life which is a little entertaining you know and which is also placing them as the ones who know that was a good thing you know to criticize uh, all of these people you know all of that place with all of these stands all of these things you know posters and all of that that was awful to to see but that was a good a way to criticize these people in our world. So I appreciated it. And for sure, her, the Red Hair Girl, her conference. Oh, fuck. Ay, ay, ay. She's really gonna be a part of Homelander's team. Is, is he gonna accept her? The fact that Homelander, he can't let Ryan shine, you know, he has to be the one to take the light. And all of these discussions are also about the fact that he's getting old about we are building a kingdom for your son like really Homelander he wants to be the savior the, the god the king and he has the impression maybe that he was not that king for enough time and that in fact he didn't have all of what he wanted so to give that to someone else clearly uh, he doesn't accept it and maybe also because he can have the impression that Ryan didn't fight for it like him and Landa fought for it. Again, you know, I'm talking about his perception of the things, not mine. Clearly, but I'm imagining that Amanda could think like that and can be jealous of Ryan who didn't have to fight to have that position. For sure, he's not gonna want for him to shine on his own. He's gonna want to always be like, that's my son, I'm his dad, like... Uh, He's like that because of me, thanks to me, and in fact, he's less than me. Oh, for Ryan to kill that guy. Oy, oy, oy. For sure, it's awful and traumatic. And we saw at the end of the last season that Ryan was shocked when Homelander killed that guy, but also that he appreciated, you know, people cheering for him. So I think that the only reason for why Ryan accepted to follow Amlander, it was for the fame, to, to be famous and all of that. So right there, he killed someone, he's not gonna be famous, Amlander is gonna be like, uh, I think that Ryan is beginning to understand that it's a problematic situation that he's into right now. With his daddy, Ashley, Ashley I'm feeling sad for her, I'm sorry, maybe I shouldn't because she's clearly not a nice person, we so how she treated people, you know, during the previous seasons and all, she's clearly not a good person. 
but she's make I have pity for her like how she's treated by all of these heroes and how what she's forced to do and all of that like the girl is clearly not happy the girl is clearly not uh, in a safe place uh, she's clearly afraid for her life uh, each day and right there for deep to respond to her for sure uh, she talked bad to deep but really uh, I, i'm not sure that i want to defend deep and no matter what to see her after that being afraid of deep like if you're really like at this point that you're afraid by deep or really you're at your lowest point uh, of your entire life actually a train helping annie and yui that's really cool a train we are seeing it since a long time he he doesn't like his life he's not okay with everything that they are doing He's never fully switching, you know, and he's always doing bad stuff still with Armlander and his team, like uh, last time. He was there when they killed these three hardcore fans of, um, of Armlander. Maybe he didn't participate, I remember that Deep and Noir, I mean fake Noir, participated. Not a train, but he placed the bodies, you know, in front of the court. So he participated, in fact, so... I'm not gonna be like, okay, that's it, we have a rat inside, go for a train, you're so good. I don't forget, you know, what he did during the previous season. I don't forget what he did during the previous seasons. Remember that, you know, everything began with Yui's girlfriend and a train. And no matter what, we saw him doing awful stuff also. And okay, he helped, uh, he has some regrets. We can see that he can switch at some point, but he didn't do it, not completely. And no matter what, it's gonna be rough to forget everything that he did. But I appreciate the help right there. And because of that, these two people were accused. They were released, so it's great. But I'm wondering about that, like Sage, she's not gonna guess what happened. She's clever, we have to remember that she's clever, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna be afraid of her preparing stuff without us the viewers knowing about it and we're gonna discover it at the end. Maybe it can be something at some point. You know, we're gonna have the impression to win and in fact at the end, haha, no, it was not the case. She guessed everything that we would do and she planned something against it and in fact she is winning with Amanda. That's really a running joke, which is great, you know, Noir talking like that, I mean fake Noir talking like that again and again. And he doesn't know how to enter into his role and he's beginning to have doubt about accepting this role. In fact, they can eliminate that fake Noir during this season and replace him by someone else. We can have a new Noir, you know, in each new episode, in each new season, without any issue. We're never seeing his face. Okay, that was a good episode. For sure, I didn't talk about Kimiko, you know, who had all of these things, you know, about his, about her past coming back and clearly therapy, it's not for her. She's gonna prefer to have her own little revenge. We'll see how it's gonna be. Yes, that was a cool episode. I appreciated it. I'm gonna watch right now the third episode, which was dropped today. For you, it's gonna be in another video. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can already have my reactions in my thoughts about the third episode on my patreon and with a longer reaction part like for these two first episodes and if you're subscribing right now just a level two just five euros it's enough and for the entire month you're gonna have my reaction videos on friday and not on monday like it's the case for youtube for all of the months you know for the boys in case you can be interested by that okay it's all for you for this video and it's all for me for now so bye for now bye wait a minute Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Great. <laughs>